the first known case of concealed carry permit holder in Wisconsin shooting someone, and it all happened in the middle of a Milwaukee grocery store. 12 News reporter Nick Bohr is live at 76th and Villard, where a customer stopped two men from robbing the store by shooting one of them. And Kathy, it was just after 7 o'clock last night inside this Aldi store here at 76th and Villard. At least one of the men stormed in there waving a shotgun despite the presence of two unarmed security guards. Still, the two couldn't have counted on a customer legally carrying a concealed handgun who opened fire on them. Milwaukee police responded to the report of an armed robbery and shooting inside Aldi at 76th and Villard, only it turned out the shooter wasn't one of the robbers. Instead, he's a 35-year-old Milwaukee man, a customer who just got a concealed carry permit allowing him to carry a weapon. One of the suspects, a 20-year-old man, was shot and is being treated at a hospital. The other is in custody, too. Police believe they're linked to a string of similar robberies. Right across the street from the Aldi, Larry Rowell's Hart Automotive has been victimized recently, too. Just this weekend, wheels and rims were stolen right off a vehicle in his lot. He just got his concealed carry permit, too. Have you ever thought about what you would do in that situation? I mean, this is right across the street from your business. I would do the exact same thing. I, if, I, if, if I felt that he was threatening people's lives, I'd, I use my gun on him, too. Though it's difficult to see here, the store has a sign when walking in stating weapons of any kind are prohibited. But that in itself doesn't factor into whether the shooter would face any charges. All citizens have the right to use force when protecting themselves or others from great bodily harm, something the DA will meet with the man about tomorrow. Larry Rowell's mind is already made up. I'm really happy because now that now the criminals are going to be afraid because the, who knows who's going to have a concealed carry or, or going to have their weapon on them. Nobody's going to know if, if the other guy has a gun now. I think it evens, you know, levels the playing field. 12 News contacted Aldi for comment. They told us, quote, Aldi is fully cooperating with the local law enforcement with its investigation and cannot comment at this time. We are thankful, though, it goes on to say that no customers or employees were injured. Now, criminal charges are not considered likely against the shooter in this case. However, the two suspects uh, are expected, their case is expected to go to the DA tomorrow, and charges there are considered likely. Live at 76 in Villard, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.